They're worth it, take time. I think we got it. Man, look at Will, man. Just so inspirational. I want to be like him for a day. Nothing like a good shower nut. You are Will Tennyson for today. Ahoy, you beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Mito's Life. And in today's video, we'll be living like the one and only Will Tennyson. So let's get into it. So it is currently 7.45 in the morning. And I'm just going to go for a little morning walk. I know that Will loves getting some sort of cardio in for the day. Do we know what his favorite cardio session is? Well, Judging off of his YouTube personality, we can all pretty much conclude that he enjoys sex. That was supposed to say steps. Sorry, my camera cut off for some reason. So, let me just go get my steps in because I know that he loves getting his 10K in. Alrighty, y'all. So we just got back from the walk. Now, I'm gonna go brew up a coffee and hit the showers. So now that I got myself looking like Will Tennyson, or at least this is the vibe that I believe that he'd rock, I decided I need another coffee. Because what would Will do in this situation? He'd have 10 cups before eating breakfast. So now we're going to hop into breakfast. We're going to be making a carton of egg whites. And we're going to toss veggies in there and top it off with mustard because Will likes mustard. So let's hop into it. peppers right now put those in I thought we had onion and mushrooms at home but we don't but that's fine and then I got cheese that I'm gonna toss on top just a sprinkle and also a carton of egg white so right now I'm gonna just let my peppers do their thing for a second and toss in the egg whites so yeah so our peppers have done their thing time to go in with our daily source of white colored protein in this case it's egg whites so I'm gonna dump in the whole thing just like that so I've been folding the side up like this for example and then I'll tilt the pan to get whatever egg whites are up top into like the side and then what I'm gonna do I saw my grandma do this once I don't know if it's gonna work out for me but you take the plate you put it up top you flip it onto the plate and then you slide it on so then it gets like a nice crisp on both sides. So let's see what happens. All right, so here goes nothing. I really do not know how this is gonna work out, but I have the sides all loosened up. We're gonna take our plate here, cover it, flip it, and then it's like that and then we slide it back on. All right, so I didn't have any normal mustard, but I do have sweet and spicy. And personally, I think it's worth the extra little calories for it. It definitely adds a little, I don't know, it adds a nice little sweet and spice to it, you know? So we're gonna just give it a nice little light coat. And we're gonna just dive into this. So let's eat. So I definitely like going with this type of cooking for the eggs because it gives it like a nice spongy consistency and it also gives it a crisp on both sides oh that plate is really hot but it gives it a nice crisp on both sides and it just tastes good like if you are sick and tired of having your egg whites scrambled just give this a try you know you might like it i personally do All right, so I have this last bite here and also a bit of coffee left. So let's just hop into it, you know? This was really filling. Like I am stuffed. 
Mm. <sighs> Meal one, all done just like that. Alrighty, y'all. So if my calculations are correct, it is time to work out. So I got this straight out of one of Will Tennyson's videos. So we have three rounds of three different circuits. So it's gonna be, so three rounds each. You get what I'm saying, right? Okay, so first one, single leg squats for one minute, and then 1.5 squats for one minute, jump squats for one minute, then a one minute rest, and then we repeat that same circuit. And then circuit number two, push-ups, 15 reps, alternating push-ups. So it's like down and then a twist. So it's like kind of like a peck fly, you know what I'm saying? And then lat pull down, I found my reg underneath my bed, so I'll be using that. So you'll see, you'll see when I do it, you know? And then one minute rest again. And then circuit number three, pike push-ups, not pipe push-ups, pike for the shoulders. And then reverse sprinter lunges and bicep curls. So I'm gonna be using my backpack for weight. I'm gonna just toss stuff in there textbooks you get the vibe and we are gonna be hitting this workout so let's go also I'm wearing this it is not merch my brother got it for me for christmas if you have not checked out that christmas eve vlog you can if you'd like it's pretty good in my opinion but yeah my brother got this made for me hopefully you guys can see it it says sex weights and protein shakes and it's the photo of will and myself when i met will that was the greatest day of my life or one of them for sure feel a better contraction with this over a traditional over a traditional lap pull down Could I get a medium dark roast black, please? Oh, okay. And also a Boston cream donut. Cream? Yep, and that's all. Oh, okay. Three times, please. Awesome, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, so we received the donut and the coffee. I just came to Walmart because I need Drano because when I shaved this morning, I clogged the sink. So need to grab some Drano for that. But for right now, we need to enjoy this beautiful donut. What's up with these bakers and not knowing how to fill the damn hole? I guess they need a bit more practice. Last bite of the donut. They didn't give me any napkins, but luckily I have my trusty TP because sometimes you're just in the whip, you get lonely, and you just need to have a crying session. After nuts, I cry. Right? You just need that crying session to just get yourself mentally stable again. Actually, technically, wouldn't that make you not mentally stable? Whatever. You get the vibe. A crying session. So I'm just going to take a few sips out of my coffee. I was kind of hot, just like me. I'm more of an iced coffee type of man myself. Hot or cold. Like out. You get the vibe. But we're going to head into Walmart. I have my trusty donut muzzle. Thank God I didn't have it on when I was eating that donut. Because I wasn't going to be able to enjoy it. So we're going to toss this on. And then we did. 
All right, so I'm all done from Walmart. I've actually made my way over to Healthy Planet. So I'm gonna be getting kibacha. I think that's what it's called. I've never had it before, but I have heard Will say in his videos that he does like it. So we're gonna give it a try. So I just got the kibacha. I think that's what it's called. I hope, I'll shake it well. So this flavor is guava. Didn't realize it was carbonated. Also, all I tasted there was like vinegar. What the hell? This thing's got to chill. Find your chill. You know? All right, we finally got it open. I mean, it's not great. It's not bad. Like, it almost tastes like apple cider vinegar. You know what I mean? So, I say we just slam this down, you know? Oh my God, that was really carbonated. That's down the hatch though. So let's go grab some more coffee. Woo. All right, so I'm currently in the Starbucks line, probably gonna be here for a few hours. So I'll update you guys once I get my coffee. And I'm also gonna be getting a spinach feta wrap. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, bye. All right, so we've received the coffee. We've received the wrap. It's time to muck. So I just got to Best Buy because I purchased for a curbside pickup. They never sent me a confirmation thing, but most time I just come and I'm like, yo, is my order ready? And then the guy's like, oh yeah, I'll go back there and check. And then they just come out with what I ordered. So if you want something in life, go get it. This is probably like my fourth time ever having this. The feta wrap. It's really good. I have to say very uh, macro friendly also. Pretty low calorie for what it is. Good protein. Can't be mad, you know. Take a bite and then superset some coffee. I'm really curious on how long I'm going to be awake tonight. Like, this is my fourth coffee today. Because I had one right in the morning. Had one when I came back home from the walk. Had the Tim's. Now this, yeah. So I'm going to eat this. And if I get what I came for from Best Buy, I'll update you guys. Heck yeah, what did I tell you? If you want something, you go get it. So I got a new Gorilla Pod because the other one la broke and also a little mount action for the cellular device. So yeah, now we're gonna go back home. All right, and I am back home. I was just fidgeting around with my Rubik's Cube, but time to get a start on editing the video that I'm posting Wednesday that it would have already been up because this is going out Saturday, but yeah, I'm going to be editing up Daddy Doucette's video, so that should be lots of fun. Well, I'm starting to edit. I do have chicken in the oven because I'm making Will's pulled chicken, barbecue chicken. So it's like a pulled pork, but it's pulled chicken. Because at the end of the day, who doesn't like their meat pulled? So yeah, I'll take you guys along once I decide, or not once I decide, once the chicken's ready. And then I gotta pull it. All right, well that's a good start on editing right there. But we have these two beautiful sandwiches for our very late lunch. 
because it's like five o'clock. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. So we're gonna just dive into these. I'll leave the link to Will's video on how to make these down below. The kitchen was just busy, that's why I didn't show the process. Wow, that is really good. That was really good. I honestly wish I had more. Like, I think I could add that to every day of my life. Wait, what? I think I could add that to my diet every day of my life. You know? Really good. But, that concludes that. I'm gonna continue editing, and then I'll see you guys for dinner time. Can anyone guess down in the comments below what we're having? All right, and we are back in the kitchen. I just cooked up my 100 grams of chicken. I have no idea why it was sizzling so much. It almost sounded like it was, um, what's the name? Like it was getting like fried or something, but I literally just hit it with a quick spray of pan and that was it. So I just cooked up the chicken. So let's get into dicing up all the veggies and assembling it. Let's go. Oh my God, the pizza's ready. Ooh, that does not smell like a Dutch oven. That smells like a damn Italian oven. I'm so excited. And all right, we are all ready to cut this up. So I'm pretty much gonna stop filming here. I have my pizza. I'm gonna be eating it while I watch some NBA. And also I'm gonna be ending off with Halo Top. So that's pretty much the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a like. If you guys are new, subscribe for more challenges, day in life, my day in a life. Just a bunch of videos, good stuff. And once gyms open up, we can do some fitness content because that's what I'm super passionate about. But you get the point. And also comment down below who I should do next for living their life for 24 hours. So yeah, have a great rest of your day. Peace.